Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make homemade pork and beans. I have tasted a lot of different recipes of pork and beans, and you guys, this one is the very best one. I guarantee it. When making pork and beans, pork should be the star, so let's get started by cubing up one pound of thick sliced bacon. The thicker the better. What you want to do is make sure those are cut into one inch chunks. Next up, I'm using country style pork ribs. These pork ribs come from a boneless pork butt, so if your butcher doesn't have country ribs, look for a pork butt. Whatever nice marbled pork you can get, you want to cut that into two inch cubes. Pork butts do have a lot of fat on them, and I like to trim off the hard fat. There are plenty of other forms of pork that can be used in this dish. A lot of people like to use hot dogs, but I have found this combo of ribs and bacon to be by far the best. Once your meat is cut up, preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And over medium high heat, we're gonna place an oven safe skillet or dish. And if you don't have an oven safe dish, I'll tell you what you can do a little later on in the video. Now we're gonna place our cubed up bacon and our cubed up ribs right into that pot. What we are looking for is for that bacon to crisp up and those pork cubes to get some nice browning on them. So be sure to stir that occasionally. This browning process usually takes about eight to 10 minutes. While that pork is cooking up, we're gonna dice up one medium onion. Adding in this onion is gonna give us some extra texture and delicious flavor. Now that our pork and bacon is getting browned up, there will be a little bit of grease in the bottom of that pan, and I suggest leaving some of it in because it adds flavor to those beans, but feel free to scoop out some of it, all but about three tablespoons. Now add in that onion and saute it up in that extra grease, which will take about five minutes. We're gonna shut off our heat and we're gonna work on making this saucy. To save dishes, we're just gonna add everything straight to the pot, starting with two cups of ketchup, a fourth a cup of brown sugar. Molasses is commonly used as well, but feel free to use what you want. Two tablespoons of wet ground mustard, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one cup of water. Now I didn't add any salt to this dish because our bacon is doing that salty trick for us. But of course, when this dish is finished, if you would like a little extra salt, add so according to your taste preference. To this glorious pot, we are adding in 48 ounces of pinto beans. Because you can never forget the beans. They're just so magical. Almost as magical as you hitting that like and subscribe button. Once we've got the beans, juices and all, added to that pot, we're gonna give it a great big stir. Then, if you didn't use an oven safe dish here, go ahead and pop that into the oven safe dish now. Then let's get that covered. Then go ahead and pop that in your preheated oven for two and a half to three hours. Cooking it for that additional two and a half hours is going to tenderize those chunks of pork and that seasoning's really going to influence those beans for the better. Then once that is done cooking, you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.